Hello friends, a politician and philosopher, John Stuart Mill, once said, the one thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Despite being bleak, these words are true. This, however, was not how things turned out in the case that we will be speaking about today. Today's story is about a 16-year-old girl named Shannon from Gosport, England. A few years ago, she was going through what was probably the worst period of her life. The prom was approaching fast. Like many high schoolers, Shannon was looking forward to that very special day. For many months, she was prepared for it and chose a beautiful dress in order to look amazing and feel good about herself. In Shannon's life, however, things turned out in such a way that the bullying of her classmates forced her to not only abandon the idea of enjoying this celebratory event, but also to spend it alone with tears in her eyes. Shannon is a very sweet and pleasant girl, but sometimes she can be very cruel, especially when it comes to teenagers. Until the ninth grade, Shannon had no problems with her classmates. However, two years before graduation, she was diagnosed with serious illnesses, ulcerative colitis and arthritis, at which point her whole life changed. After spending a month in the hospital, the girl became the object of her peers' unkind looks. At first, they simply mocked and teased her, but later the insults grew more serious which also made their way onto social media. Shannon explained, barely holding back tears, it was really difficult to cope with. They used to call me the most terrible names. I couldn't even repeat any of them. It was really bad stuff. Then it spread to text messages and social media. I had to change my number, but somehow they still found me. The ridicule did not stop even after she changed her number. Since Shannon was about to graduate, she decided to attend her prom and have fun, despite the bullying. Just a few days before the dance, however, she came home in tears and changed her mind. Shannon's mother, Claire, recalled that Shannon decided definitively not to go on the eve of the prom. Claire understood that something must have happened. When she asked her daughter what was the matter, she said that her classmates had planned to spend the evening at a restaurant and didn't invite her and did everything in their power to prevent Shannon from even finding out about it. It was very painful for Claire to watch her child suffer and know that there was very little she could do to help. As it turned out, help came from where it was least expected. In the evening, Claire was sad and looked through the photos of her daughter in her snow white dress, which she intended to wear to the prom and which she tried on a few days prior. Shannon looked so beautiful and at the same time so sad in the picture that Claire decided to share it on her Facebook page. She captioned the picture, if Shannon had gone to prom, she would have worn this beautiful dress. Thanks to nasty, vile bullies, Shannon decided she didn't want to go. Friends and acquaintances began responding to the post, asking Claire what had happened to make Shannon not want to go, which forced her to share their story. Still, Claire could have never anticipated what happened next. Claire's post gained momentum in their hometown, and many people whom they didn't know said that Shannon deserved to have the prom night of her dreams. Some people began suggesting that they organize a special prom just for Shannon, the huge number of people who were ready to come and support Shannon amazed Claire. She couldn't believe that such a thing was possible. So many people, whom she never met, were ready to come to Shannon's party. Soon, Claire began to like the idea of organizing their own prom. She posted an invitation with the date and time of the alternative prom, inviting absolutely everyone to join them. Still, she could not believe what happened next. July 22nd was the day on which Shannon's friends and family decided to organize the party. When Shannon and Claire arrived at the designated time and place, the two almost lost their power of speech. The whole main street of the city was filled with people. A huge number of women and men whom they didn't know came to celebrate with Shannon. They were all well-dressed in suits and evening dresses. The surprises, however, were far from over. A motorcycle club found out about the event and 120 bikers arrived from a different city to support the graduate. One of the bikers later recalled that they didn't have to think long after seeing the post online, and when they heard about the event, they too wanted to join. Shannon was even taken to the venue on the back of a bike, and when she arrived, two more bikers carried her inside the restaurant. It is worth noting that the owner of the restaurant kindly helped organize the event. It felt as if the whole city came together on that day. In order to make a group photo on the lawn of all the guests, the photographer had to walk back 20 meters. It was the best day of Shannon's life. She danced and had fun all evening with her relatives and newfound friends. 
this smile never left her face. Shannon herself shared her impressions of the evening by saying that it was so much better than she could have ever imagined. Of course, Claire and her daughter were very touched by the fact that even strangers supported them in a difficult moment by deciding to come. By doing so, they made the event truly unforgettable. All of them had their own lives and plans, but they still found the time to lift the spirits of Shannon and Claire. That's simply incredible. After news of this amazing graduation party spread online, even celebrities and the royal family decided to uplift Sharon. Two weeks after the wonderful evening, Shannon met Prince William and a little later, the famous British motorcycle racer, Shane Byron. It is also worth noting that after 120 bikers visited the city, Shannon's problems with her peers ended. She experienced no more ridicule, nor did she receive mean messages on social media. Friends, here is a story that shows that humanity is not yet lost there are still lots of kind and caring people who will come to the rescue. That's all for today. Rate the video and see you soon.